Hi Nail Fam and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. and today I am going to try and nail a chevron smile line. This is video 3 of 4 for this week. So today I'm getting started with my mandrel bit at 5 RPMs and then I am just shaping the edge to make it easier on my forms and then going in with the cuticle ball bit to just clean up and make sure I have the perfect platform for my acrylic application. Once I'm happy with that, I cleanse with some with a lymph-free wipe and some swipe and then do two coats of protein bond. And now I'm going in with my forms, which I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of, but they're still kind of like a love-hate relationship. But I will say that it's easier for me to do a stiletto nail when you're sculpting from a form. So there were some technical difficulties when recording the first part of this video, I do apologize, but I basically just went in with my cover blush and applied and then made a sharp edge, like a super short stiletto that I am now filing the side edges just to clean up so I have a really nice sharp smile line when I go back in. And here you're seeing me notice that my acrylic is actually not fully hardened yet. So I just gave it another minute or so and then went back in. My room was really, really cold that day, so the acrylic was setting super slow. But it's okay, just do your tap test and you'll be fine. Now that my chevron is sharp, I am putting on a brush form underneath that so that I can build the glitter smile line. Today I'm going to take a bunch of different ones. I took my custom glitter that I got from Young Nails Twitch and then I'm adding some that I got through a glitter pack that I purchased during Black Friday of Young Nails. They have really great sales. If you're on a budget, wait for a sale. I know it's hard when they like release new stuff and you really, really want it, but I promise things will come back around especially if they're good and popular, they will restock it. So wait for a sale, save up your money. You can also earn glitter and gift cards on the Twitch stream. just adding a lot more micros into the chunks because I'm doing it just on the tip so I can't have a lot of big pieces otherwise it just wouldn't look right so now that I've gotten my mix I dump half of it out um, and trying to save as much as I can and then you like double the size with clear to turn it into an acrylic glitter So I'm really happy with how this little mix turned out. It has a lot more micro, which makes it easier to handle. And I'm just pushing it back and along that line. I'm not worrying about the height of the glitter because I will fill everything in that is missing with clear. I just wanna get that crisp line. So don't feel like you have to build up the volume. Just get your lines and build your strength with clear. So I'm happy with where everything is set and I'm just filling in all the structure holes with clear and I'm really happy how it turned out.
When I go to take off the form though, I again make the mistake of not checking beforehand. You see how it's stretched? Oh my god, that freaked me out. So I went back in with a little bit of clear to fix that divot and then did my tap test to make sure it was hard before I started filing. So now I'm just going in with 150 grit zebra file from Young Nails and just cleaning up my edges and shaping till I am happy with it. I know some people use their e-file for all their shaping, but when I'm working on myself, it's still a lot easier just to use a hand file. So I cleanse again with some swipe and now I'm going in with two cream clays. I use that metallic pink, fuchsia-ish pink, and then this gold and mix them two together. I just want to create this beautiful line just to give that chevron a little more pop. And I'll list the names of the colors down below. And because I'm not super confident with my line work, I started with the micro detailer, which does a super, super thin line just to give myself some guidance. And now I'm going in with a, a gel liner from the set that I will list at the bottom of the screen. And that's all there was to it. And then here is the final look of that with an ultimate finish gloss on it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Next video will be the ring finger and I will see you tomorrow.